today's topic is analyze the simply supported gable frame. So as you can see, we have uniform load and of course we have here concentrated load which is horizontal. Ito namang distance to is 2.4 meters, 2.4 center to center po yan, and then we have 1.8 and 3 meters. We also have here hinge and then roller. So dito, alam naman natin na this is, okay, to reaction which is AV. And ito, yung pang, kung ang direction natin dyan for the force is hard, uh, going to the right, of course, ito possible na going to the left. Okay, and also this is your A or E, okay, V. Kung ang direction nito, pag nag moment tayo, ay nag-contradict, for example, itong AV is nag-negative and AH is negative, ibig sabihin yung direction natin is against doon or mali. So, it change lang natin. So, para makuha natin yung AV, number 1, or EV, okay? Kasi pag mag-AV tayo mag-start, or mag simulation moment at E tayo, ang mangyayari dyan, dalawa yung unknown. So, ang gawin natin, mag-moment tayo kay A para isa lang yung unknown natin, which is yung EV. Okay? So, we have summation moment at Okay, A is equal to 0. Clockwise is positive. Ano yung mga clockwise dyan? We have 40. Ito, multiplied natin yung distance, which is 3. Plus, ito yung 10. Okay, this is uh, 4.8. Okay, multiplied by 2.4 kasi kalahati from this point. Minus, EV natin. Okay, multiplied natin. Ilan yung distance yan? From this point, we have 4.8 is equal to 0 to make it equilibrium. So, we have EV. Ito, transpose natin and divided this by 4.8. So, we have 49 kilo newton. So, that is your EV, which is 49 kilo newton. Okay, by means of summation forces, vertical is equal to 0. Upward is positive. And yung mga upward dyan, we have AV. Okay, next. AV plus EV minus, this is 10 times 4.8. Again natin. Kasi yun yung resultant is equal to 0. This is 48, while this one is 49. So, ang mangyari niyan, we have AV is equivalent to okay, 49. Kasi magiging negative to. Ito naman magiging positive. 48. So, we have negative 1 kilo newton. Ibig sabihin po niyan, yung direction nito ay dapat downward. So, so mangyari niyan, we have AV is equivalent to 1 kilo newton okay, downward. So, that is our final answer para sa reaction natin. Okay, paano naman itong AH? So, summation forces horizontal is equal to 0. Okay. So, the right is positive. Ano yung mga right dyan? We have 40 kN. And also, left naman yung AH natin. So, transpose natin itong AH. So, AH is equivalent to okay, positive 40 kN. So, ibig sabihin, this is 40. Okay, next tayo. So, kailangan muna natin if free body diagram ito. AB, and then next member ulit, BC, and then other member, CD, and then DE. So, per member tayo dyan. So, we have to draw the free body diagram of AB. Okay, so meron na tayong free body diagram dito ng AB. So, ito, nilagay natin dyan. So, kung meron tayong 1 kN for AV, of course, to make it more equilibrium condition, dito rin naman yung BV natin, pataas naman. Ayan, so 1, 1, so equilibrium conditions na tayo. Alam naman natin dito walang moment, ba So 0 yung moment dito, ilagay mo 0. So dito, probably pwede natin ilagay yung rotation dito for MD is counter. So ibig sabihin pag nag-negative, clockwise yan. Pero ngayon, ito na yung shear natin, ito naman yung moment natin. So i-draw na natin yung shear, so this is 0. Okay, so aangat siya ng 40. And then, wala namang load. Yan, other 40. And then, bababa. Ba. So, ngayon, hanapin natin si MB. So, paano makuha si MB? So, summation moment at, pwede tayo mag-moment at B para makuha natin yan. Clockwise is 0, positive. 
Okay, so ibig sabihin yung MB mo is negative. Okay, eto naman, yung BV mawawala. 40 mawawala. Pero ito, 40 meron. So, etong 1 mawawala kasi katapat niya yung B natin. So, 40 na lang yung matitira. So, so ano yan? Clockwise or counter? So, yung rotation niya is pag ganyan, so clockwise. So, plus 40 multiplied by 3. So, is equal to 0. So, therefore, to transpose natin, so it will become positive. So, we have 120 kilonewton meter. So, ibig sabihin, tama yung rotation. So, ito, yung ibig sabihin yung sign yan, papunta daw sa counter yung rotation. So, ito papunta sa counter, so that is 120. So, so to analyze, if this is positive, syempre, dapat positive din yung moment natin. So, we have here 20. So, 40, this is 40, multiplied by 3 is 120. So, sakto. Ayan, 120. So, that is your moment diagram. Next naman tayo dito sa BC natin. Okay? Lagay nyo lang dyan ha. Shade nyo. This is your, okay, AB diagram. Okay? So, kinuha ko yung free body diagram ng ano po, BC. So, this is free body diagram of BC natin. So, 10 kN sa kalahati. So, this is C and then B. Alam naman natin ito, yung B kanina is upward, di ba? Yung rotation, yung yan yan. Okay? Yung forces niyan. So, ibig sabihin, pag kinot mo yan sa joints, okay, pababa naman yung isang reaction natin. Parang siyan, or forces natin. Yung B, hindi na natin kukunin kasi na, uh, na-compute na natin siya doon kanina sa previous natin. Eh, doon sa previous natin na member, which is yung AB. Okay, so dito, we have BV and CB. So, first thing we know is yung cosine dito. Ayan, pag kinot natin yan, or din, um, may extend natin yan, we have theta. So, sa theta dito, opposite all over, adjacent lang naman tayo sa tangent, di ba? So, tangent theta is equal to ln 2, opposite, which is 1.8 all over 2.4. So, that is, pag makuha natin si tangent, that is 36.87 degrees. So, 36.87 degrees. Pero, instead of magta-tangent-tangent tayo, mas maganda kapag lalagay na natin dito, your cosine theta is, and then, sine theta. Yung cosine is 0.8. And then, yung sine natin is 0.6. So, saan makukuha yan? Ang ilagay nyo lang po is, cosine 36.87. I-type nyo lang sa calculator to. Not nyo. Okay? And then, inalagay na ang amount or ang value is 0.8. And so, with this, okay, type nyo lang sign 36.87, ang lalabas na value is 0.6. So, ito yung mga gagamitin natin. 0.8 and 0.6. Okay, para mahanap si CV, summation forces, vertical tayo is equal to 0, upward is positive. So, we have CV minus 1, okay, minus 10 multiplied by 2.4 equal to 0. So, this is 24 minus 1. Okay, kasi negative din pareha. So, we have 25 kilo newton. So, that is your CV. Lagay natin dito 25. So, okay, next. Dito kasi kanina may moment tayo, ba? Yung moment natin dito is pag ganyan, yung kanina. Ngayon naman po, ang gawin natin is, sabi ko sa inyo, sa joints, nagiging ganyan siya to make it equilibrium conditions. Nasa ko, yung joints natin. Okay, kung ito ay pataas, of course, ito ay pababa. Kung ito kanina ay ganyan yung motion, so dapat ito, papunta naman dyan yung rotation natin. Of course, kay may moment B tayo dito, meron din tayong moment C dito. Ayan, moment C. So, paano determine si moment C? So, we have summation, moment at, kung ano yung hinahanap natin, di tayo mag-moment ha, para may zero. Okay? Clockwise is positive. Ano yung mga clockwise dyan? Of course, yung 120 is clockwise. Okay? Pero ito, yung rotation nito from this point, papunta dyan, that is counter. So, minus 10 multiplied by okay, 2.4 times 1.2. Okay? Meron pa ba? MC. MC is also counter. MC 
multiply by, wala na kasi nga, times na yan. Minus, na to, counter hindi niyan. 1 multiplied by 2.4 is equal to 0. So, what is your MC? Okay, ito yung transpose natin to make it positive. So, we have 120 minus, okay, this is 24 times 1.2 minus 2.4. So, that is equivalent to 88.8 kilonewton meter. So, that is your moment dito. So, 88.8 kilonewton meter. So, ano bang purpose ng cosine natin at saka sine? So, ito po yun. That's why we have here. Kasi ito, ang mangyayari, bababa siya. Okay? So, this is your theta also. So, ibig sabihin, cosine of 1 or 1 times 0.8 is equal to 0.8. Diba? Ito naman po, ito naman siya. Okay? Kung pataas yan, of course, oh, that is also pataas. So, 25 cosine of 36.87 or cosine or 25 times 0.8 is 20 kilo newton. Para saan ito? Dito tayo mag-drawing ng shear and moment diagram. Okay? Ito kasi para sa shear. Ano naman yung moment natin? Siyempre, may loading side dito. So, we have to consider also the moment. So, ito yung incline din natin. Ito, ayan, ibabagsak din natin yan. Okay? So, paano ang bagsak niyan? Ganito. So, ayan yung frames natin. Ito yung kanina, binagsak ko dyan. So, paano yung gagawin natin dyan? Siyempre, cosine pa din. Pero, kukunin mo muna yung resultant nito para makuha mo kung ilan ba talaga yung loadings na to. So, erase ko lang to. So, ito yung loadings natin. Kunin muna natin yung resultant nito. Okay. So, this is 2.4. So, 10 times 2.4 is 24. Yung cosine na to, kapag binagsak natin, di ba 24 yan? Okay, 24. So, kapag binagsak natin to, eto yung mangyari dyan. So, yan. So, this is your theta. So, 24 cosine of 36.7, 87, or 24 times 0.8 is 19.2. So, we have reaction of, yeah, 19.2 papunta dito. Yan. So, paano naman kukunin yung kilonewton per meter dyan? Diba ito, ang unit nito, itong 19.2, ang unit niyan is kilonewton. So, ang gawin natin, 19.2 kilonewton, i-divide natin kung ilan yung distance na to. Ilan ba yan? So, by means of, um, ito, Pythagorean theorem, we have 1.8 squared plus 2.4 squared Okay, that is equivalent to 3 meters. So, ibig sabihin, this is 3 meters. So, 19.2 divided by 3 meters is 6.4 kilonewton meter. So, ilagay natin dito, 6.4 kilonewton per meter. So, magagamit na natin siya for sure and moment diagram. Okay, so, ito po yung for sure and moment diagram natin. Okay, so number one is, so share muna tayo. Siyempre, the diagram, di ba point 0.8 to? Pababa, downward, so ito yung point 0.8. So point 0.8, so we have 6.4 times 3. Okay, since ang loading yan is negative, negative 6.4 times 3 minus point 0.8, so that is equivalent to, okay, ilagay natin, 20. Okay. Since ito, itong reaction natin kanina is 20. So, 20 minus 20 is 0. So, bababa. Yan din pupunta dyan. Yan. So, na mapapansin nyo, di ba? This is first degree. Ngayon, kunin naman natin yung area nito para maging resultant natin at magamit natin para sa area natin for your moment. So, ito, lagay natin Okay, to know the resultant of a trapezoid, syempre, meron tayong b plus b all over 2 multiplied by yung distance natin, which is, we put it as d or h, okay, is 0.8 plus 20 divided by 2 multiplied natin ng 3. So, we have, okay, lagay natin, 
so this is 88.8 kilonewton meter o di ba sa aktor ito sa MC natin 88.8 okay so this is di ba this is negative so ito yung zero natin so ibig sabihin that is yung una 120 so ilisin natin yan dyan meron pala tayong moment dito ayun yung 120 upward lagay natin siya ng 120 umangat siya 120 120 yung minus natin ito that is okay ilan po 88 point okay minus 88 point 8 is 0 so lagay natin dito as 0 so ito pala is 31 point yung nag direct na kasi ako sa calculations ko 31.2 kilonewton meter natin for radian. So, 120 minus 31.2 ang answer is 88.8. Ayan, nag-direct na kasi ako. Okay, so, yan. Taba na natin to. Ayan. Ayan, so, we have here 2 degrees. So, this is our moment diagram para sa frame natin for BC. Okay, next naman tayo. Dito tayo sa C, D natin. Ulitin ko ha. Yung nakuha natin resultant na to, ito po yun, which is 31.2. Ito moment natin is 120. So, 120 minus 31.2 is equivalent to 88.8. Dapat, magtatalo siya sa MC natin, which is 88.8, para malaman natin kung tama ba yung calculations natin o hindi. Okay, dito naman tayo, CD. So, in-isolate natin, or the free body diagram tayo. So, yan yung value. So, first is, we have to determine DV. So, by means of subvention, forces vertical is equal to zero. So, na yung mga vertical natin dyan, upward is positive. We have negative 25, kasi pababa, minus 10 multiplied, eto 2.4. Ayan yun, no, 2.4. So, times 2.4. Meron pa ba? Wala na. So, ito pa. Plus DV is equal to 0. So, their DV is equal to 24 minus, negative 25 minus 24 is 49. So, this is 49 kilo newton. Ayan. So, lagay na natin as 49 kilo newton. Siyempre, kung may moment to, dapat ito rin ay may moment. Diba? So, kailangan natin kunin yung moment dyan. So, summation moment at So, tayo pwede mag-moment. Kung si D ang hinahanap natin, di mag-moment tayo kay D. Diba? Para matanggal natin itong value na ito. At makuha lang natin si MD. So, positive clockwise. Okay. 88.8. That is your MC. Okay. Meron pa ba? Minus 25 multiplied by this distance. This is still 2.4. Ito, We have minus 10 multiplied by 2.4 times 2.1. Okay. So, ilan na yung value? That is equivalent to 0. So, lahat yung negative, negative. So, this is, okay, 88 minus 88 kasi this is 88.8. So, our, lagay natin, minus MD. Okay. So, ito transpose natin. So, 88 minus 88 is equivalent to 0. So, kilo newton meter. So, MD is 0. So, ngayon, kukunin na natin yung value ng short moment diagram natin. So, ito, ibabagsak natin. So, paano yung bagsak niyan? Ito po ang bagsak niyan papunta dyan. So, ayusin na lang natin. Okay, yan. So, bumagsak na siya dyan. So, 10, binagsak natin. So, kunin muna natin itong resultant natin na ito. Di ba, ang resultant dito is 24 kasi 10 times 2.4 is 24. So, ilagay natin 24. Ngayon, pag binagsak natin yan, syempre, meron din siya dito yan value perpendicular. So, that is theta, di ba? Cosine yan. So, 24 cosine of theta, which is 24 times point is 19.2. So, ito kanina, okay, that is 25 times point 8 is 20. How about this one? So, ayan naman po, okay, 49 cosine of theta is 
39.2 kilonewtons. So, ilagay natin, 39.2 kilonewtons. So, ito, 19.2 kilonewtons, i-divide ulit natin sa 3 meters kasi by means of category ng serial is 3. So, 19.2 divided by 3 is 6.4 kilonewton meter. So, that's the time na mag-draw na tayo ng shear and moment diagram. So, ito bumaba ng 20. Okay, next. So, we have 6.4 multiplied by 3 plus 20. So, that is 39.2. So, 39.2 minus 39.2 is 0. Okay, so, lagay lang natin. Kasi, ito ay 0 degree, ito ay 1st degree. So, yung next natin dito is, ano po, dapat ay 2nd degree. So, lagay natin yun dyan. So, trapezoid na to, okay, kunin natin to, area na to, so, we have 20 plus 39.2 over 2 multiplied by 3 is 88.8. Since this is negative, so, therefore, negative yan. Di ba, umangat siya na 88.8? 88.8 positive. So, 88.8 positive minus negative 88.88 is 0. So, ibig sabihin, magzi-zero na yung moment natin dyan. Okay, next naman tayo is dito which is DE. So, yung mga values natin sa sure moment diagram is mamaya ipagkoconnect natin. Okay? So, dapat ang pag-analyze niyan is isa-isa and then afterward, i-consider na natin whole structure for sure moment diagram. Okay? Dito naman sa number D in natin. Diba kanina, pataas itong DV natin. Ngayon naman, pababa na siya. So, 49. Since wala tayong moment dyan, that is equivalent to 0. Next, this is for ED. So, 49 minus 49 is 0. So, that is equilibrium condition. So, okay tayo siya. Next, consider natin yung whole structure para sa shear and moment diagram. So, ito na yung shear diagram natin. Ano ito na yung M diagram natin. So, that's it for the simple supported gable frames.